Good afternoon, everybody. So um, today, um, I mean, my area of focus is how and what we're expecting uh, for the years to come, and especially this year. Uh, we are now focusing on enhancing the core or strengthening the core all across departments and division at Spark Minda or Minda Corporation Limited. The world is changing, especially in the Indian automotive uh, environment. There are four key pillars that we are hearing and sensing and which we are working towards. Can I have the next slide, please? Um, one, of course, is the VUCA word, which stands for vulnerability, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. We are all living in this world, and we've been witnessing various changes in terms of COVID or uh, global political uh, issues or supply chain concerns, etc. We all need to focus on our business operating models and how to continuously innovate ourselves uh, to focus on agility, flexibility, and speed. Secondly, as, it, as technology is also evolving from legacy products to advanced technology, as demonstrated by our group CTO, we need to reshape our thinking and revamp our legacy products and ad with advanced technology. As Minda Corporation is, is clearly moving towards electronics and advanced technologies, you will witness this in our exhibition center right behind you. We all need to gear up and start thinking towards this in our own products. And how we can manufacture these products in the most advanced production and capabilities and quality standards. We would like to invite all of our supplier partners to also come and give, give us a tech show presentation on what you are doing to improve your technology and engineering capabilities to strengthen our own offerings to our customers. As an organization going forward, customers are looking for complete solutions from component to system solutions, from parts to packages, enhancing customer value and customer satisfaction. Like Minda Corporation is the path is in the path of moving from component to system solutions and adding continuously many new products in our complete offerings. We also request you all of you to rethink and strategize your value chains, product offerings, and strategies with all the opportunities coming forward. We would now like to partner with all of you to engage with larger and bigger systems for, for bigger sub-assemblies. As Kushal explained, we will be rationalizing our supplier base and working extensive with our top suppliers and strategic suppliers to increase their strategic partnership with us by more of outsourcing and into larger products and components. Last not the least, we want to change the mindset from top to bottom. Our customers are really, really pushing us to change our mindset and it is our duty and our responsibility as tier ones to help our tier partners, our tier two, tier three supplier partners to change the mindset. In Hindi we say chalta hai, that's not gonna work anymore. We need to reshape our thinking, change our mindset from fixed mindset to growth mindset. In my next slides I will show you how we as an organization are requesting all of you to work towards these changes and changing mindsets on various fronts. This is not easy, but change is inevitable. We need to be, we need to be uh, focusing on speed, agility, focusing on benchmarking ourselves with our other competitors, other peers on how to stay ahead of the curve. Our custom, customer behaviors and expectations are changing over time. As end customers like all of us, we want four wheelers or two wheelers without any uh, poor, without any uh, quality issues and we want export qualities. There's a clear change in expectation and we need to change that dramatically from within all the way to all our tier two and tier three supplier partners. Most important thing is to improve quality standards, quality thinking, quality parameters, and make quality a way of life. Going forward, cost competitiveness, which is another important theme of today, is going to be very, very important. There is immense pressure, like showed our, by our group CMO. There's immense pressure by, by industries, by customers, by peers, by competitors to give cost reductions and to be cost competitive to win orders and grow. We all need to relook into our cost structures and cost benefit analysis. For example, just to share, one of large customers in India explained in their vendor conference that in the last five years, while their turnover has doubled, their fixed cost has remained same. 
they have not even increased single rupee of fixed cost in spite doubling their turnover this is the cost competitiveness and the approach that we all need to think to remain ahead of the curve next focusing um, on like on the cost competitiveness going forward our customers are significantly pressuring us demanding us day in day out for becoming cost competitive they are focusing on year on year reductions in their quotation formats itself they are giving us at least 3 to 6% cost reductions year on year be it be exports or be it be domestic and while we look into these aspects we urge all of you also in this year to support us in this way and start change in thinking to offer yy discounts and turnover discounts we are very thankful to our customers for our growth and we are thankful to you for your support as well but going forward we are also going to be coming and asking you for turnover discounts as well this is now becoming or going to become a norm so we would request all of you to start preparing yourself changing in the mindset in order to work towards these new business awards and incentives is what is our customers are asking us additional volume increase incentives is customers are what are asking us so we are we have to get up and we are bound to sustain by providing these cost in incentives to our customers and again we have to share the pain and the gain with our customers so today my request and urge to all of you is that during this year and the years to come we will be as minda corporation supporting you hand holding you and also working towards cost competitiveness in the areas of year on year discount cost competitiveness new additional business discounts and other other cost structures in some cases as i mentioned customers are asking value add value engineering discounts as well they are asking us please set up different departments different different engineering teams for benchmarking purpose how we can benchmark with our competitors with new technologies with our suppliers also on the cost there is a clear and significant focus on cost reduction from all customers hence our theme for this year for supplier conference is cost 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 and quality 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 we expect all of you to relook into our, your cost structures variable cost fixed costs and also provide us areas on how we can work together support you in achieving those financial parameters value add value engineering as i mentioned i would urge all of you to please strengthen your engineering teams engineering divisions to focus on value engineering and providing the savings for yourself and we will help you in achieving those value engineering savings which can be then passed on to us in turn to the customers to make sure that we sustain the businesses and grow with them this is going to be a very very clear cut phenomena from our customers on how much vav discounts and support is been given by a, a tier 1 supplier for the next business award so as it's a clear phenomena we will move from our customers direction to partner with all of you to with your support next is on the working capital as we all come out of the challenges of covid our customers are regularly on quarterly basis asking us for our financial health check they are clearly asking us our financial health in terms of working capital balance sheet pnl cash flows and we are supposed to provide them that how we are improving further and we also request all of you to also relook into your financials and going forward we will also be evaluating financial health for our suppliers and this will be an important parameter like kushal mentioned in awarding further new businesses to our supplier partners going forward moving to the next again customers are engineering uh, are focusing uh, and pressing us to focus on giving uh, investments through amortization as neeraj also mentioned before customers are not willing to give upfront investments they are clearly asking us to give us investments through amortization in the piece price hence this is a very very big factor on how the industry is moving and how minda corporation will be also moving forward and sharing the pain and gain with you 
by also understanding that how we can have capex in terms of line investments poka yokes toolings other infrastructures and how this can be amortized rather than giving money up front from inda corporation for new businesses so this is a very important factor that we all need to list down and start working towards moving forward moving next is on the inventory when we as minda corporation do a peer benchmarking we clearly see that we have the highest inventory levels compared to our peers and in the automotive industry in tier 1 as well as oem space some of this inventory is imported as well as domestic we have thoroughly analyzed our inventories across division products plants it is now imperative for suppliers to start moving again from the perspective of mindset change from inventory to just in time and just in sequence this is how the automotive industry works we also need to start moving in this direction and also start moving away from the mindset of having 30 days inventories 15 days inventories at the all supply chain at rm fg or wip this mindset change has to has to happen so we request all of you to please evaluate and analyze your inventories will be helping you working together on how to look at improvising the inventories just in time just in sequence as well as manufacturing best practices to help achieve these which will eventually help you in working capital improvements last not the least we need to address quality cost and warranty rejections our customers are debiting us for even one quality cost or quality issue when it comes to export they want export quality at domestic prices sometimes the debit cost can even raise from at least 10 times to 100 times with a single piece price we all need to start moving into changing our mindset on how quality will lead to cost issues going forward customer even like end consumers like us do not wish to have quality issues with their new equipments or the new vehicles we expect our suppliers to think about peer quality cost and warranty rejections participation from our part supplier partners in improving the quality is really important quality is the basic hygiene and our group ceo says it is a character so unless the quality is not okay this is single most important factor for awarding and sustainability of the new businesses all of you will be shared with various cost standards that we are going forward with for supply chain parts for direct online as well as warranty policies that we are going to be coming up within this year <clears throat> minda corporation has implemented a very strong system of vendor quality management which kushal explained we will be further strengthening in this year and these reports will indicate where and how we can improve together as also neeraj mentioned on the rfq responsiveness the lead time to do rfq support and responsiveness is reducing year on year month on month a classic example is of ola electric a typical two wheeler used to take about a year and a half to two years to build from rfq to sop ola has done it in six months minda corporation is one of the suppliers who also supported this and supported them from rfq to sop in six months and again thanks to partners like you who have supported us we all need to again move faster because when the competition is increasing oems expect us to deliver products fault free in a in the least amount of time so the time to sop is shrinking month on month and year on year rfq responsiveness has to increase this is the single most important factor for winning or losing businesses as our marketing team also showed earlier 8% of business loss is due to the rfq responsive delayed and quotations from our side moving next is on the new product development and fault free supply chain and ppap again our customers are really really evaluating us not on quality and cost but on development this is going to be a single most important factor for awarding new businesses while they consider cost and quality given development is very very important for building confidence for new businesses just to give you example we supplied one particular product we had some uh, delivery uh, ppap issues when we went for the new business to the customer customer said you have the same team while you may have improved your processes but we are not confident 
when we changed the team and we again went back for businesses they said the people are new we will not give the business so the customers are really changing their demands and expectations and we need to be really really strengthening our systems processes for the development for fault free uh, launches minda corporation has now coming from two wheeler to four wheelers the expectation of four wheeler with the technology changes that uh, mr suresh just showed the expectations are going much much beyond again the expectations jo chalta hai that will not work anymore that is a clear message i would like to give all of you moving next is on the vendor portal and digitalization minda corporation is taking a lot of initiatives this year and also going beyond for digitalization and also moving to vendor portal system for ordering and reconciliations and any kind of uh, support system that is needed last not the least is on the esg all our global customers and indian customers are also now asking for environment social health and governance reports and carbon neutrality footprint and plan for 2040 or 2050 we as minda corporation have formed a team along with one of the consultants to how we can form a carbon neutrality organization when we come up with our complete plan we will also share with you but this includes packaging you material usage plant equipments and other maintenance and other activities that are being used again customers are driving this change and expecting tier 1 suppliers to also change our mindset to move towards carbon neutrality so these are some of the changes that i wish to basically share with all of you on how minda corporation is changing in line with our customer expectations on various fronts most important being cost and quality so this is i think end of my presentation but i would just like to give a clear message in the end that without all your support and rigorous change in mindset minda corporation will not be able to grow without your support and from my perspective we are very clear that we are going to grow for sure so the suppliers and the partners who are going to support this initiative with us are going to grow with us if there's any support that you need i am personally available and i'm sure the entire minda corporation team is available to handhold you support you guide you in all the parameters thank you very much looking forward for your support